this video is just 6 minutes long, and, is the second in the series of everything you need to know about screenwriting videos. Where I cover, formatting each element in a screenplay in detail. In this video I cover, sluglines, montages, series of shots, intercut, over black, and, superimpose. So let's go. That line is a scene header. If you need to understand the scene header, please see episode 1 before continuing to watch this video. Slug lines, are also called secondary headers. They go beneath the main scene header. It is an uppercase word, or phrase, of special meaning. Slug lines, are left justified against the margin, which as we have already seen, in the previous video, is one inch from the edge of the paper. The first slug line we will cover, is montage. A common requirement when writing a screenplay is to show a montage, this is a collection of scenes or shots. We might use a montage to conveniently show the passing of time. So we could show a character or characters doing several things briefly, one after the other, to paint a picture for the viewer, before we pick up the story again in the next scene. If the montage all takes place at one location, within an existing scene, like, in our example in the park, we can deal with it with a montage slug line, under a suitable scene heading, like this. The way we terminate a montage depends, if, this scene ends with the montage, we don't expressly need to terminate the montage itself, because it will be obvious it has ended when our next scene starts. But if we choose to continue the action in this same scene, after the montage, we must end the montage with another slug line. End, montage. This isn't a transition, so it goes on the left, not on the right. Now we can continue the same scene at that location, with normal action. In the previous example, we chose to start a montage, within a scene. So we used the montage slug line, beneath a suitable scene header. But if the whole scene was to be a montage, we would need to promote the slug line, to become, the scene header itself. And then, terminate with, and, montage. Which again is still not a transition, so goes on the left. All the clips, in our example montage, have the same subject, John and Sandra. But if the montage has a variety of subjects, you would simply use the word various, instead of a specific subject. The next of our slug lines is series of shots. For formatting purposes, a series of shots, is identical to montage, and they can serve the same purpose. But the difference should be thought of as the narrative. A montage more so, tells a specific story. Like in our example, showing time passing as a couple fall in love. Whereas, a series of shots is simply that, a series of possibly, unrelated video images, one after the other. Or a series of related images but over a shorter perceived time period, than a montage, would be used for. Our next slug line, cannot be promoted to a scene header. It can only be used within an existing scene. It is, intercut, and it is used to merge two or more scenes into one element, to make handling dialogue easier. You may have a scene where perhaps two characters are having a phone conversation. Or maybe your story needs to show, by switching back and forth, what two characters are doing at the same time at two separate locations. You could simply have a cut transition and new scene header every time you wanted to switch locations. Like this. But, I think it's obvious, that would be quite verbose to write for a long conversation. And equally as challenging to read. A far easier way, is to use, intercut, to link the two locations. We do it like this. Once we use the intercut slug line, we can handle the dialogue across two locations, the way we would if the characters were in the same room. Also, besides being more efficient, there's an important difference. In the first verbose example, what the writer is actually doing, is predefining when the image cuts from one location to another. This could be perceived as going beyond what the writer should do. In the second example, using intercut, the writer is, in the most efficient method, simply telling their story. And he or she is leaving how the cuts are finally handled on camera, and in the finished movie, to the director. Moving on. Sometimes we want things to happen before our visual image starts. It might be we hear a voice over, or perhaps, we see text on the screen. Whatever it is, we can signify there is no other visual image, by using the slug line, over black. In this example, we would hear the words, while the screen was completely black. There is a fifth dimension, beyond that, which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless, as infinity. And finally, for this video, 
Let's look at how we place text on the screen. Perhaps for titles or to help set a scene, with some textual information, we can do so, with superimpose. As the name suggests, this puts text, over whatever image is presently there. It follows that, if we wanted text over a black background we would combine this slug line with the previous slug line. Like this. There is a fifth dimension, beyond that, which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless, as infinity. If we use superimpose, inside a normal scene, the text just appears over whatever image is being seen. Thank you for watching. Follow us on Facebook to know when other videos are released. If you can't wait for the next video, why not buy the book, Fade In, available on Amazon. It covers everything you need to know, to write your screenplay. Bye for now, and, keep on writing.